Okay, this is a video on how to install rocket engines into RockSim. Uh, so here we have a design and it's got a 54 millimeter engine mount and we want to install some new motors. Uh, the first thing to do is to go to the manufacturer's website that makes the rocket engine. Apogee Components does not make rocket engine files. These are made by the rocket engine manufacturer such as Sky Ripper, Aerotech, um, all those other manufacturers. Uh, when you get to their website, uh, go ahead and find the engine files, and this is an ENG file, and that will work in Roxim. Also, Roxim does open RSE files, which is Roxim, Roxim engine file. So go ahead and download that, and if you get text like this, uh, click your back button, and on your mouse, right-click on the engine file, and choose to save link as from the pop-up, and I'm just going to throw it onto my desktop. Okay, so that is uh, is downloaded, and now I'm going to close out my browser, and I'm just going to open up the engine edit software, which comes with the Roxim. It's in the Roxim programs file. So engine edit allows us to view the thrust curves, and I just want to make sure that everything is okay first. So in engine edit, I'm going to do a file open, and I'm going to go to my desktop, and here's the engine. So I'm going to click open. And as you can see, it loaded. This particular one has one, two, three, four, five, six different engines in it. Uh, Sky Rippers are all um, hybrid engines. Um, now, the the ENG file format does not store what kind of engines they are. That is only stored in the Roxim file format. So, if you want to change the engine type to hybrid, what you're going to have to do is to resave this as a Roxim engine file. So uh, I'm going to quickly do that. Oh, the other thing about hybrids is they're all plugged. They do not have ejection delays of zero. Zero means that the ejection charge fires immediately after the engine burns out. Obviously, with a hybrid motor, it does not have an ejection charge. So what I want you to do is to change that to a P. P means plugged. Plugged means that there is no ejection charge at all. So let me go back here and change this one to P. So we're going to change all these to hybrids and P's. Okay, when you get that done, now we're going to go up here to File, Save As, and we're going to save that. I'm going to save it back onto the desktop, and I, if I choose the RAS format, it's going to throw out all those corrections I just made. So I need to change it to the Roxim format, and you can see it's RSE, Roxim Engine. And go ahead and save that to your desktop. Okay, now I'm going to close out the Engine Edit, and I'm going back into Roxim. Now the first thing I want to do is to take that engine file that was on the desktop. Let me put the desktop folder up here. So here it is. And I want to also open up another window here with my Roxim. This is my Roxim files. Um, you'll notice that there's a data folder here. So open up that data folder. And from the desktop, take that engine file and throw it in the data folder. That's where all the engines are stored and then we can close that out. Okay, so now back in Roxim, I want you to go to File and go Reload Engines. And what this does is it brings up a list of all the engines that Roxim sees in that data folder. Here's the data folder. Here's our new engine, the RS, SRS54.RSE, and click Add. Now it adds it to this side of the column. And then once you click OK, now that lo motor is loaded. All those motors were loaded. And just to make sure that everything's working, we're going to go prepare for launch. And I'm going to choose an engine. And what I want you to do to make sure that everything's working, I want you to turn the manufacturer filter to this blank one and the type filter to blank also. OK? I want both of those blank and then scroll down to Sky Ripper. Oh, here's all our motors. Look at that. So we load that motor in there and we'll check the engine delays and there should be none. 
none means plugged and we'll click OK and now our engine is loaded. So you can see how simple it was to load an engine file into RockSim. To review, first download it onto your desktop, open it in engine edit just to make sure everything's working, throw that engine file into the data folder and then go into RockSim and reload engines. And there you have it.